You wanna see the bucket full of gross stuff? I am at unnamed popular regional franchise, the good one. This time last year, I had just gotten into mycology and I saw what I thought by visual inspection alone was some kind of psilocybin growing in the lawn outside of this burger restaurant. My God, what resourceful stoners. So I am here one year later to see one, if that is truly what I saw, two, if it did flush right now, and three, um, uh, third observation. <laughs> what are you? Most certainly not a psilocybe. Um, ooh, what are you? Here's that first one uh, I found. Um, absolutely no clue what this is. Uh, my field identification skills are terrible right now. I'm still a beginner, but I think I found what I'm looking for. <laughs> What are you? Uh, hi, shiny little guy. Are there any number of things this could be? This could be a simple lawnmower's mushroom. Um, but again, I did observe what I thought uh, could be some kind of psilocybe last time I was here. I'm going to take one of these as it is right now, come back tomorrow, take another. So now I've seen one in this bed that I have not seen here before. Um, probably just missed it last time. Let's see what this is hello and good tidings what 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 are what are you here's this comically tiny jar uh, i brought just for this occasion i'm gonna try to get as low on the stem as i can to see if this is the uh, this is one of the many kinds which discolor when pinched Ooh, look at that attached veil or it's just not done fruiting fascinating Absolutely fascinating. It's very asymmetrical. That was very successful. I have three samples that I've collected. Uh, this larger one here that I'm most interested in. I've not seen a, a, a fuzz veil like this before. The smaller one here is quite like what I saw before, though d definitely underdeveloped. Um, there were way more last time I saw this here, so I think that this is the beginning of the flush. I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow to see if I can see more or there was one right next to this one that was similarly sized, so maybe it's bigger. Now is a good time to reiterate, this is not an educational channel, this is an observational channel. I am Sage the Bad Naturalist. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't take my advice. These observations are almost certainly at least a little wrong. Funny thing about developing an interest in urban mycology, I often see something, little white speckles in a lawn, and I think, oh, amazing, there's a whole little, there's a, there's a whole flush over there, uh, but it's actually just trash. No dice on location two. However, I have my highest degree of hope for location three. Okay, it is, honest to God, chilly uh, here in coastal California. Isn't that neat? My last stop I have been to once before, actually, on this channel, um, in, in one of these guys, one of the little ones. If I do see chicken of the woods, I might eat it. I, I might. I'm a little scared. Wow, Zers. I stopped at this tree because you see all those little light spots. I thought that they might be little bitty nubs of where the um, chicken of the woods is starting to come out only to realize that no the tree was just trimmed those are just spots where it's been cut but what do i find instead what what shooketh oh i'm taking a sample of you home okay so this is a very old very dormant very dead specimen um it is extremely dark obviously i'm not going to eat this but I am very bad at this. I will be studying you at home. Okay, so to assess uh, how this uh, this little hunt went, sure wish I would have started earlier in the day, but that's neither here nor there. My Chicken of the Woods location, 
Definitely out of season. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm here way too early. Those are just super old ones from last season. But curiously, um, it doesn't seem to have a decomposer or certainly not a fast one because it's still there. Nothing broke it down. Like that's a very old one I took that sample from. So I have that one in a little baggie. I'm going to cut that up and look at it under the video microscope as well as the other three samples I took. And again, I do intend to go out tomorrow, see if I can find those same ones again. Spore prints should be done by then. So I should have at least a sense of the color of the spores. Unfortunately, I will not be able to say definitively what any of these are, only what they probably are based on my complete novice knowledge, because I don't have a real microscope. I only have a video microscope. It says it magnifies a thousand times, and that is a lie. It's like a hundred at most. Lies were told on the internet, and I believed them. Spores are like 10 microns or less. They're very tiny. So you need a good quality microscope. And also uh, it needs to resolve well enough to see the shape of them. Like, are they, are they ovals? Are they little circles? Do they have like a little on the edge of it? Here's my little studio setup. Uh, I always worry that my neighbor thinks that I'm like doing weird drug stuff. I, I swear it's not, it's just science. chilly and overcast, no sunlight early in the morning. Uh, and I just didn't drag my lazy bones out of the house early enough. Every single day I leave my house thinking, wow, I put together such an outfit. I look like hot shit. I look like if Lenny Kravitz wasn't famous. All right, I have returned and mistakenly I have returned hungry and it smells so good. Uh, but I didn't plan on that. So I'm gonna be good and eat the banana in my backpack instead. Well, 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 well. What are you? So we've got a whole cluster here. The fact that they're growing clustered together can be indicative of what species it is, though they do not seem to be emanating from the same central spot, like a bulb. No, they are all... These are all distinct. There's not one central clump, so that can help differentiate when I start looking in the book. And likewise, this appears to be markedly different. I think these are, these are separate species. This is more Mycena looking. This has got some psilocybe to it. Though, of course, there's a very good chance I'm wrong. Okay, after picking them up, I changed my mind. These are all definitely the same thing. They're just at different stages of growth. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. I got three samples uh, in the tin. Um, in case you're wondering, this isn't like a closed down drive through Like there's, you know, there's people in the drive through I just, and like the grass is right here. Uh, I just like, I don't have that, that self-preservation thing that makes you ashamed of doing obviously strange things. Like it'd be better if I had that, I just don't. Please ignore the massive amount of toilet paper behind me in the back of the car. So I, uh, I got um, three samples here. Um, after looking closer, this is definitely all the same kind of mushroom. Um, they're just at different stages of development. The gill color does actually change pretty dramatically. I didn't take the last sample out of the container for a few hours and it had seriously darkened. So I am going to get this home ASAP, start getting a spore print. I will do this one properly. And hopefully, I will be better able to discern what this is. This is gonna sound really stupid if you live somewhere that regularly gets rain, but like, look at those cumulonimbi! Cumulonimbe? Ooh, are they girls? Are they girl clouds? Are they cumulonimbuses? 
Is it even plural? Does that count as one cloud? Oh, amazed. I'm dazzled. Look at that. Incredible. It's update time. So I plucked this at 2 p.m. from outside the burger joint, uh, placed it into this little container to take a spore print at 3.45 p.m. And that was yesterday. So it's been an, uh, a day and a half. I'm gonna show you this last because from the edge, it looks like it worked and it's like cool looking. So I'm supposed to wait to show it to you, I think is how entertainment works. But I think more exciting than taking a spore print because that's literally just lop off the stem, stick it somewhere, and don't touch it for a day. The more exciting thing that has happened is on the agar plates. This one here, don't worry, I'll zoom in closer. This one here, we've got mycelial threads. It's alive in here. This one, unclear. Um, I don't know if it's just moving a little slower. It's only been a day and a half. Um, it's actually kind of amazing that threads develop this fast. Nothing to show for this one. Here's a closer look at the agar plates. Also, I really hope my, all my comments don't say you're pronouncing agar wrong. I don't know. I haven't gone to school for this. I would like to, but I haven't. So I hope you can see what looks like scratches. What looks like scratches all around there uh, is not. Those are um, uh, little threads, mycelial threads, I think. You want to see the bucket full of gross stuff? This is a storage bin in which I keep uh, the agar, uh, just so it doesn't get like knocked over, so like excessively gross stuff doesn't get in there. Obviously it's gross, it's like fungi is grown in here. Um, uh, and then um, uh, I got a decomposing pumpkin in here. See, it used to be orange, um, but that's absolutely revolting. Don't worry, it's sealed. Um, that's, it's profoundly gross. Frankly, the grossest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and I'm doing it on purpose. That's for a different video. Um, it'll take 10 more months to figure out if this was worth doing. Oh, it moved. Oh, I did not like that. It's lawnmower's mushroom. So common and unremarkable, it was not worth even collecting and identifying. Tune in next time.